what is up guys welcome back to another video from the title of this video you guys can see that we're going to be doing a chrome delete and we're going to be working on our carbon fiber overlays i guess so if that's what you want to call it but i went ahead and got a head start added the rear chrome delete in the back so this piece right here where is it this you're going to cut off at the end once it's on this one same thing you're going to cut it off right at the end but just so you guys see it like i'm not the best at wrapping it's you're basically wrapping the chrome trim with an overlay and the nice thing about this one is it does not need a heat gun you can just keep lifting and putting on um all you basically need is a credit card or like a little squeegee and taking all the air bubbles out and they come out pretty good so again right here i just wanted to get a head start because the sun's going down and it's only like what four o'clock so i'm gonna go ahead and stop this one and i'm gonna start on the other side to be honest this one was a lot harder to do on the other side because it's a bigger piece and i hate wrapping stuff like i completely hate wrapping stuff so i'm gonna show you guys how i did this one so basically guys you have your trim right here do it in pieces so i'm only gonna take about this much out and i'm gonna go ahead and start lining this up right here now i'm gonna start all the way on this edge it's good right there feed it to the bottom okay so now that the bottom and the top are the bottoms are lined up feed it through the top and then from here you're gonna start squeezing in to all the corners use your card as needed It's okay to lift back up. It's going to be fine. These ones are meant to like... I mean, you don't want to keep doing it all the time, but... Take your time. Slowly go up. Give it pressure. That way you pretty much get everything in there. What's nice about this, I was able to put my GoPro on the gas cap so you guys can see the first part. That's basically all you need to do. It's kind of hard to hold my GoPro and show you guys at the same time, but... All you do... I like keeping this in the paper until I need it. So I'm gonna slowly start working my way back up that way and I'll show you guys how it looks as soon as it's done. Same thing how I was explaining to you guys. Got a little air bubble right there. I'm gonna work these out. Little bits right here. What you gotta do is to squeeze it out. Um, I had a big one right here. So what I ended up doing was I lifted it from the bottom, squeezed it out and then put it back on. So I'm gonna work my way all the way around. One thing I do recommend is don't tuck it in on the bottom yet. That way you can lift it from the bottom, tuck the air out and tuck it back in. So this is how it is. Again, if at the end it's a little bit longer, it's okay. Just cut it all the way at the end when you're done. She does look good. I did end up going with matte black. This is matte black right here. So I wanted it to match with it. I was gonna go gloss, but I didn't wanna go too much. Cause I mean, this is matte black right here. This is matte black right here. Like, matte black looks high. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the last one. Now for the doors, it is highly recommended to open the door. That way you can get the top of the chrome on the top. Again, work your way from this end. That way when you finish, comes out through this side right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one off camera. That way I can get it. Cause like I said, sun's going down. There she is. That's gonna be done right there. And look, the sun's gone. So luckily I have lights up here. But even so, I don't like doing it out here like that. All right, the so last thing, guys, you get your scissors and put all the rest. So just like I mentioned before, I did get some carbon fiber interior overlay sticker pieces. So these I got off of Amazon. Anyways, I'm sure you guys remember the ones that I got for my 8th gen. It was like an overlay that you just put on. So I ended up going with the same thing but for my 10th gen, because I personally really do like how the steering wheel looks. I like how it feels. I know there's a Buddy Club one. I know there's like another one where it has like carbon fiber all the way around. I feel like it's too much. I just want to add a little touch to it. So I'm only going to add it right here, right here, right here. And then there's another overlay that I was able to get off of Jet's vinyl from Two Step Performance. So that's why I ordered it. It's going to go right here. Now, all you do is take the sticker off in the back and bam. Wait, where are you go? Right here just like that that's it it's just an overlay i really like how it looks i liked how my old one looked that's the top part just make sure you can press all your buttons down 
for me up here, my uh, volume up button was stuck because I guess it was, wasn't lining up correctly. So all I did was, since I already had scissors in here, grabbed it and just shaved off a little bit from the top. Came off really easily. Now, it works. Turn on the car just to make sure the volume didn't get stuck or anything. And we're all good. Air roll the buttons uh, pretty much pressed in. So now we're gonna do this one right here. Looks pretty good. I mean, at least I think it does. I fucks with it. So last one's gonna be right in the middle. That one's really easy. It's just this overlay right here. Just a little sticker overlay right here. Just a little air bubbles. I'm gonna take those out right now. And that's it. So, oof. I think it looks good. I like it a lot. <clears throat> there are other ones where the silver trim right here all gets covered up. I wasn't a fan of that. It's all this right here. I wasn't a fan of that one. I think there's one for this right here. There, where are you? This one right here follows the whole line all the way up to the vent. And then there's another one right here. Let me see if I guys can see it. Let me get my phone. So the silver trim you see right there where the gauges are, there's one for, for it as well. I didn't want that. I feel like, cause I already have this. It was gonna be a little too much. So I'm chilling with what I got right here with this. It's gonna be it right there and we're gonna go ahead and go inside jesus dude relax 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 are you okay do you like the christmas tree mr gotham okay good we're gonna go out right now give me a sec so if you guys followed me on instagram you know that i got this exhaust in yesterday i'm gonna try to install this exhaust as quick as i can so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plan a play date with Hector. That way, with Hector, that way we can get that installed as soon as we can. Cause he's only off weekends and I'm not. So we're gonna see how that, how that plays off. So we're gonna do it as soon as we can whenever we have the time for that. I did a post on my story. Hey, you guys wanna ask me some questions? I'm gonna post it on my, uh, on my next video. So I went ahead and screenshotted them and on Instagram, every couple of you guys asked me some questions. So I'm just gonna go through them really quick. When's the meet coming? So I've talked about having a car meet with you guys for quite a while, but because of the whole uh, COVID-19 going on, I don't think it's smart for me to uh, post something, especially with a lot of strangers, no offense. Hope you guys can understand that. But if for some strange reason, somebody goes that is sick or whatever and blah, 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 I can't afford to get sick right now. And it doesn't only affect me, it affects my fiance, it affects her sister, it affects Hector, it affects my, like it affects a lot of people. So I don't, want that to happen as soon as this gets a little cleared up i'll see what i can do and then here in southern california trying to find a location where we'll be able to go hang out and not get harassed by the, a cop or uh, somebody else it's gonna be a little difficult but i've been doing some digging so i just don't want to make any announcements yet and then have to pull out on that what other car that you have in mind besides the 10th gen si I didn't really have another car in mind. I mean, I did, but I did have my eye on a Volkswagen GTI, the MK7, um, but they only make four doors and I wanted a coupe. Like I, I wanted a coupe hatch. They only make a four door hatch. So like I was looking at like, because I was considering the Type R, I also did look consider the Golf R, um, an STI, but I looked at the STI and that thing gets like maybe 240 per tank. So I didn't want to like, have to fill up every single trip that would have been a big no for me <laughs> to be honest that would have been a big no the gti gets good gas it does make a lot more power but like eh, like i i really wanted to see what the whole hype was about the 10th gen si and i i'm in love i really do like it i don't regret getting it if you guys don't have one i do recommend trying it out chest drive one it is gonna feel lifeless like without the vtec but the turbo does make up for it you know so I was looking into a Volkswagen GTI because it's a new one and because I like hatchbacks. So, uh, do you think your 10th gen pulls a lot better than your 8th gen or about the same? Okay, so my Bolton, it's, it's kind of contradicting because 
My 10th gen is technically stock. All it has is an intake, it's stock. There's nothing else done to it, like performance-wise. And my SI was intake, header, exhaust, TSX cams, and it was tuned, it had a stage one clutch, it had a lightweight flywheel, it had a lot of stuff done to the car, uh, if you guys remember correctly, and or if you guys are new to the channel. And my Bolton SI surprised me on a lot of races, good and bad, as in there'd be cars that I didn't think I'd be able to beat, and there was cars that I thought I was able to beat, but I actually got slapped. So comparing it to my 10th gen, my Bolton FG2 to a stock, FC1, FC3, 10th Gen SI, it, it beats it every single time. From a dig, from a 40 roll, from a, from, a, from a 20 roll, from a 40 roll, from a dig, from a 60 roll, it's just the gearing. The gearing in the 8th Gen is just so much more. I have proof of, people, of me racing a stock one. I have not had the opportunity and I never did get the opportunity to race a uh, tuned or a K-tuned, um, a tuned 10th gen even if it was just an off-the-shelf tune or tsp never had the opportunity so i never got the chance to do it i do believe that a tsp stage one tuned 10th gen will pull harder than a bolt-on 8th gen or 9th gen because of the torque curve we have a lot bigger torque within the 10th gen than we do in the 8th so it you know it, it just depends on what's been done to the car but as of how my last car was and how this car is now my eighth gen hands down will take it all day even in the canyons even like in a straight line but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a, it's faster than it because obviously that's an na you're still comparing an na to a turbo so do you prefer the eighth gen body with the new technology or vice versa mm, i would prefer a 10th gen coupe with i would prefer a 10th gen si coupe with a k series in it and I mean like a K20 or a K24, not the new K20C from the Type R. I think that would be pretty sick if you had like a Frank Swap K20, K24 in a 10th Gen SI Coupe. I think it would look sick, it would sound great, and being NA with like 280 plus horsepower, it would be pretty sick. What would be your advice for someone who barely got an 8th Gen SI? Get Honda. Get Honda to Flash Pro. If you have an 8th gen or a 9th gen, get Honda to Flash Pro. You, you don't have to worry about a, a warranty thing, and it's fine. Like, that changes the car tremendously. I know K2 never changes the 10th gen tremendously, but I'm gonna opt just a little bit longer. I'm at 5,000 miles already, so. <laughs> and I've only, I've only made one car payment. Like, I've had the car for about maybe three months, maybe a little bit more. So I'm at 5,000 miles already. I'm, I'm gonna hit the warranty thing quick. Rusty trombone give or receive? I choose not to answer that question. The PS5 worth it before I buy that shit. And which game did you get digital? And which one did you get digital or the other one? Thanks. Well, first of all, the PS5 is definitely worth it. Or the Xbox Series X is definitely worth it. It's a next gen console. Uh, not to get too in depth and nerdy about it, but you're just getting better at everything. Um, do I recommend it? Yeah, but good luck on getting one. They're gonna be sold out all the time. I was lucky enough to have my fiance buy one for me. Uh, so yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up for today's video. That Chrome delete was pretty easy to do. The interior, I did like how it looked. So I thought a lot of you guys are gonna be like, no, don't do it, take it off. But look, look, it's my car, big dog. I really like how it looks inside. So I, I, so a lot of you guys are telling me to do the Chrome delete. There it is, it's done. But again, install on the exhaust, guys. I'm gonna be doing that as soon as I can. That way we can get that out of the way and I can finally have an exhaust on my car. After the exhaust is in, I'm gonna be aiming for an intercooler. I'm really aiming for the PRL intercooler. They just came out with a black one. Uh, so I do want a black intercooler on the car. So I'm gonna be looking into the front of my intercooler from PRL and we're pretty much gonna go from there. So thank you all for watching. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're close to 16,000. So that's pretty sick. Yeah, Gotham, do you have anything to say? Hello, sir? All right, he's chilling. I'll see you guys in another video. You guys have a good day. Peace.